Hey guys, on today's video I'm going to be reviewing this camera right here, the Fuji XP. Now this is a 16 megapixel camera, so it's pretty good. Um, what I can tell you, I'm going to tell you the, the cons about it fast. Um, it's not good for winter, so if you're going skiing, if you want to take pictures, this will die on you really fast. The battery itself sucks. It will only last you about 5 minutes if you want to record something, and then it's going to die. So battery, um, we even had another battery replacement uh, just in case we thought it was the battery pro issue but no it turns out that all the batteries from Fuji uh, are not good and this camera doesn't really seal up from getting it froze so it does freeze up easily and um, even underwater where it's a little bit colder um, even there the battery doesn't last that long it does last a lot longer than on snow uh, if you're looking at minus 20 temperatures or even minus 10 your battery will last five minutes maybe uh, for pictures it's gonna last maybe for 20 30 pictures and then it's gonna die now that's what I didn't like about this camera what I do like about it it's very portable and uh, for underwater shots it takes great underwater shots I really like that uh, the image quality for for everything I, I really like those um, video quality not the best but it's pretty good for pictures uh, video mm, not so much your pictures are, are they're pretty you can see that saturation it's pretty nicely balanced um, I always use it just on automatic so it, it does the thing by itself for snow I do put it on snow setting but even then that doesn't really help with it staying alive so if you're thinking about getting for snow don't get it if you're thinking about getting for underwater it's something to go for for sure um, it's not that expensive however once again it will not last that much time underwater so you may want to look into other cameras um, I know other cameras that work a lot better than this one right here um, and there's a, and I'm just gonna say it other brands okay any Fuji one no good battery and it's even weird the way that they built in the battery if you put it in the wrong way which you can put it whichever way you want which uh, that's what people do a lot um, complaining about because they get that mistake since it says right here Fujifilm so you think it goes in this way because it's going upwards right but if you put it in that way it's not gonna work so you need to put it in the right way and the right way is actually upside down so we get a lot of complaints about that over the channel and uh, I know it's annoying because some of you think your camera's broken and then it turns out it's just the battery put in the wrong way and uh, you don't really think that through um, apart from that guys the picture quality like I said I really like it um, it's I wouldn't really say it's 60 megapixel I know it's a 60 megapixel camera but when I look at the pictures themselves um, there's always a bit of graininess um, I know that's because the ISO but even with a lot of light you do get a bit of graininess um, once you expand it out so I don't really think it's really 60 megapixels um, the video itself is okay um, I, I do like the video underwater that it captures I mean it doesn't need that much light for pictures you you can't they're always gonna be shaky and they're pretty hard to take underwater um, but it's it's something fun to have um, I would definitely think about getting another type of camera maybe a GoPro or um, just another camera GoPro I know they're a lot more expensive but if you look into other brands, uh, there's some other ones that have way better reviews than the Fuji ones. Okay, so think about that. Um, and if you just want something cheap and that uh, you don't need it for snow, then you can go for something like this. Now, once again, 60 megapixels is pretty good. Um, if you just want to put something for Facebook, you don't want the setting to be on 60 megapixels. You just want something at 8 megapixels, which is good enough. 8 megapixels will look the same thing as a 60 megapixel shot if you post it on Facebook. So if you're just thinking about that, that's all you need for a camera, 8 megapixels. Now if you're thinking about printing large, then you're thinking about 18 megapixels and above. But um, other than that guys, you'll be fine with this. And uh, once again, for snow, no good. Underwater, it's okay. I'll give it a rating of 6 out of 10 just because the battery really annoys me. Other than that, it's an okay camera. Thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them here below. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.